hey guys welcome back in this video we shall go through this javascript code we have here and this video is the continuation of my javascript project where i built a currency conversion app so if you haven't seen that video the link is in the description you can go ahead and check that out we covered html css bootstrap and javascript we used those four technologies to build a currency conversion app. The const variable here inserted is used to store the element that has an ID of my input. So if you come over here to our index.html file and you scroll up to the form section and that's here, you see the element that has the ID of my input is the input element. So in essence, we are storing this input tag in this variable here called inserted so we created the variable ourselves it's not a default variable so we said const inserted is set to document dot get element by id and in the brackets there we passed in my input don't forget the quotation marks now the next thing to understand about this code is since this is a currency conversion app and we want users to impute the amount of money they want to convert to another currency. They are going to do that in the input field, right? Where you have enter Naira value. So that's going to happen here in the input field, right? So what do we want to do? So anytime the user imputes any value, we are going to listen for that and grab the value the user imputes. So we do that in JavaScript using event listeners. So this is how to add an event listener to your element. So remember, we grabbed the input tag and we stored the input tag in inserted. So now we want to add an event listener to the input tag. So this is how we added the event listener to our input field. We said inserted dot add event listener. And the add event listener in JavaScript always takes two arguments the first argument is the event in this case we are working with the input event we have other types of events we have the click event we have the mouse over event we have the unload event we have lots of other events that are not the input event so you can go online check out javascript events and you are going to see other events that we didn't use here so but in this case the event that we are going to use is the input event because we want to listen for when the user inputs something in our input field. So we passed in the input event here as the first argument. The second argument that the add event listener takes is a callback function. And inside this callback function, you are going to pass in the logic that you want to be executed when the user imputes any value so this is it in essence when the user imputes anything in the input field here which is now inserted executes anything in this callback function so the final thing i want to talk about in this video is the inner html function so the inner html function in javascript returns the current html source of the element including any change that has been made to that element since it was loaded. So let's use the dollar value here for example. Remember, the dollar value is a variable that I created and I stored the HTML element that has the ID set to dollar ID. So let's go to our HTML file and let's see which of our elements has that ID, dollar ID. This is the element that has the ID set to dollar ID. So I grabbed this div element and I stored it in the dollar value variable. So now dollar value represents that div tag. So I use the dollar value here and I said dollar value dot inner HTML. And I set that to converted times 365. So what the inner HTML does here is this. It loads the current states of dollar value which is actually nothing 
because the user has not input anything. Then when the user types a number in the input field, inner HTML makes it possible for dollar value, which is that div, to update whatever converted is times 365. Remember, converted here stores any number that the user enters. So when the user enters any number, it's going to be multiplied times 365. Inner HTML is the function that helps update dollar value, which is our div tag. If you come here, you see our div tag is set to nothing here. We have nothing in between our div tag. There's no number value, which means it is null, it is empty. When somebody enters any number in the input field, it is multiplied times 365, also 420 and 440. Then inner HTML is the function that grabs the value when it's multiplied times 365 and it adds it to dollar value, which is our div tag. So the moment I say one, it's going to multiply one times 365. Then inner HTML will grab 365 and place it in between this div here and also this div and also this div. So that's how the inner HTML function works. If you've not watched the initial video, the link is in the description. Go ahead, click on the link, watch the video, come back here and you understand better. For now, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share.